Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers. We're back in, oh fuck, back in the world. I'm going to just turn those signals down for a second because there are so many. Um, fighter docking station, that's a new one. So, I should have turned them down hopefully with the help of a friend. They should be not spawning as often. Uh, we have the, the ship, which is ready to rock. I'm just going to switch it off real quick. It's ready, it's ready to go, we can power it up, we just need to throw some ice into it and uh, do a little bit of do a little bit of body work, I think, um, just to get it up to scratch, because it is a little bit um, in need of that. Let's get some steel plates here, and let's do some, let's do some body work, guys, let's do some body work. Um, we could also do with some Atmo thrusters. Ah, yeah, I was going to do them, wasn't I? Yeah, um, yeah, not really sure where to put them now, to be honest. Maybe like, uh, well, that's a, that's a pretty obvious spot right there, isn't it? We put a couple here, but I don't know if that, like two, it's not really, you know, a, a, a large amount. Um, it could probably lift it without any cargo, but, yeah, because we haven't got that many... Upwards hydrogen thrusters. In fact, we haven't got any. Uh, that's a bit kind of, you know, a bit too far forward, really, for my liking. Hmm. God, there's really nowhere good to put it, is there? Right, let's put two here for now, like that, and then uh, remembering we've only got those batteries actually oh so I think you need three batteries to run one right I think that's the case um, yeah could do two like that and then sort of greeble off that which I think is what we're gonna do here so we'll do four we'll do four Four small atmos, which will be enough to lift us. Um, but we're going to need four. To, we're going to need twelve small batteries to power that. Well, I guess we're going to have the reactors output as well. Uh, we don't need them at. F actually, no, we do need them at full charge. So max outputs five hundred kilowatts. Batteries can output two hundred each. So at the moment, we've got eleven hundred. One point one megawatts, I guess. Um, these can draw. 600. Okay. Yeah. 1100, so 1200, 2400, so we need another 1300. We need another 1300. Probably more than that. More than 1300 output. It's going to take seven small batteries. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, we can we can make that work though. For now, let's just do some greeble. <laughs> let's greeble. Let's greeble these up. Yeah, let's have, have some greeble. Here. Let's give them a bit of greeble. What are we thinking? What are we thinking, boys? What are we thinking? I'm thinking. I'm thinking some simple sort of armor panel esque. If I can get the right key, my god. Some simple armor panel looking things. I don't really know, just sort of going with going with what comes to mind at the moment. Um, basically, we just want to bulk it up a little bit so that we can't just get one shot. Because that's no fun. Definitely want something here. Um, depends how much body we want this thing to have. I think it's, I think it's probably good for it to have some, some body, right? Got another landing going on over there. That sounds fun. As long as they keep me out of it. And then we also need to think about weight as well. Like, it's all good doing a little bit of greeble, but we don't want this thing to get too heavy. Ah, 
that's not good. So we'll, we'll do something like this for now. Bit of a, a bit of body work. Fucking weld the fucking block. Oh god, that looks hideous. Maybe it'll maybe it'll work itself out. Maybe it'll all come together in the end. Like you know when you're like a like you know teenager and you're like, oh my god, when you look back on the photos. No, I said that wrong. When you look back on photos of you as a teenager, you're like, what the fuck? And then you've blossomed into this magnificent. No, I don't think that's going to happen here, is it? You know what? I don't actually think it looks that bad. Don't look that bad, actually. No, I can make this work. I can make this work. It's like when you're in a relationship and, you know, you... I'm not going to finish that. Do, 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 there we go. Look at that. I, I, I tried to get like a perspective by getting my thing going, but I can't. Got some gyros here as well. I don't think this thing's got any gyros. Which is a bit worrying, but there you go. Uh, we can build two batteries there, and then we can build batteries up top as well. Let's get a load of them in our build planeel. Oh, we only need seven, don't we? Seven for just over um, what we need. Right, so let's have a little bit of a think here. So that's the backup one. We can leave that as it is. Can we not place blocks in there? There we can. I want the side with the greeble. There we go. One... Just gonna have to turn it on because the batteries are gonna be on by default. I think I've already named that emergency backup or something like that. Have I? Please tell me I have. I don't think I have, motherfucker. It'll be number three. <laughs> backup power. We'll call it this one for now. I mean, it doesn't really matter which one it is, I suppose. But that's that's two. Um. Oh, look at that. Have we got an upwards thruster? Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Then two more. Six, seven. There you go. Oh. Might look a bit whack, but it will work. So we're gonna go with that. Is it these power cells that are heavy? I think it probably is. And the fact that I'm carrying like loads of other shit as well. What? Can I withdraw one construction components and ten other components? So it's construction components we need. Yeah, we just need construction components. I don't know what it thinks we need. I must have had some on me, that's why they've welded up. Oh, wow. It's gone fudgy. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I have to go for a, a leak. Let's grab a... Oh, wow. Look at that. Grab some steel plates as well so we can do some greeble. Yeah, this thing's got a pretty nice profile, actually. You know, it's not—it's not—it's not as hideous as I as I thought it was. And we could put stuff here as well, right? Um, we're not going to put anything in here for now, uh, but we can do in the future, like antennas, remote controls, um, just sort of useful stuff. More gyros, small car containers. We can even put rocket pods or an extra set of gaps. We could double up the guns if we need to. So it's quite uh, it's quite modular in that sense, I suppose. We should probably get some landing gear going as well. I don't know if we can actually place it though, because it's like kissing the ground, isn't it? Let's try. Um, can't get low enough to actually do it. Uh, let's power the ship down anyway. 
The reactor's not hooked up to the conveyor system either, so we're going to have to actually go down on that. Motors. Oh, shit. My weakness! How's that one got all the motors? So, 18, 36, 54, what, 72 motors. Oh! Actually, let's pop these pop these in the base. Yeah, this is going to be uh, an interesting gathering of components here, to say the least. Fighter docking station, that sounds very interesting. I wonder if they've got, like, fighters docked there, or if it's just, like, a place for them to dock. Take that. I'll be taking those, and those, and we haven't got any fucking motors. We're gonna have to queue some up. We're gonna have to queue some, we're gonna have to admit defeat at some point. Have we got any nickel? No. We have got 48 motors though. Which is not enough, but it's something. Get that going. That's one. It's two. Could probably fly on three. But we need, yeah, we need motors. Right, we're going to have to journey to the outpost, I think, to go queue up some motors, pick up some motors. Um, yeah. Probably depot all of this stuff. First, though, because there's a lot of stuff here. We can probably harvest some of those gats that have broken down. Energy low. Oh, god damn it! But um, yeah, I think we probably could. How many? Can we not make turrets yet? Do we need to build an interior turret first? Is that why we can't make turrets? Uh, oh, we need to make an assembler. I made an assembler. Oh, they only require... Uh, I like that's the small grid. Eight motors. I don't think we'd have enough even if we scrapped all of them, to be honest. 54! Oh my word. This is why we need a, a pad. To just dock. Because this is going to take the rest of my life. Uh, God, I just drop them off the edge. How many can I take at a time? Fifteen. I suppose that's not terrible, but yeah, we do need to spend some time thinking about. I mean, we could probably need to like lick up this little this base a little bit because it's, it's sort of it doesn't really fit with the rest of what we've got going on. Um, got a couple turrets on fire, which we could really use with being online, especially with how much stuff is floating around here. I mean, it's, to it's toned down a little bit, actually. So I believe it has helped the uh, the command that we ran. Or we could use some armor panels on that little greeble bit as well. Um, yeah, what we could do with probably bringing the mining ship over here, unless we're going to use the outpost for production, in which, I mean, it wouldn't really make much sense, though. Surely we can find some nickel round here. I think we'll do that. I think we'll probably do that. But then what's the point in the outpost? <laughs> We could put a drill rig there. I think, you know what, we'll do a drill rig. That's probably the best idea, just to get us some basic stuff. Uh, we could do a pretty do a pretty simple drill rig. Because we've got the stuff for a drill rig. So we'll do that. We'll set up a quick, a quick drill rig over there. And then that will give us an incentive to actually dock over there. And then probably bring the stone 
over to this outpost, but then we're going to have to build a pad over here. Which should be too difficult. I mean, we could just rig one together with like a connector and stuff. We'll probably do one out the back there. Um, Just throw a pad together, right? And then we can bring the stone over here. I think that's a, I think that's a pretty reasonable, pretty reasonable thing to do. Unless we want to set one up somewhere else. We could do with just a smaller cargo ship, really. Which I guess we could use this for that purpose. Yeah, actually. Why not? That would make quite a lot of sense. Because that's... Yeah, this could be definitely used as a medium transport. Or a cargo transport. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Finish depot in these. And then we're going to head over to the, uh, the outpost. What's that? Transport courier. Another one. Normally I'd be thirsting over that. But not anymore. I've grown out of my simping days. I'm no longer a simp. I already have a transport courier. And also, we, I think we have the grids, the majority of the grids at the other base, and we need that for the contract, don't we? So we should probably start throwing the contract stuff together so we can go get that sold and get that out of the way with, get some fresh contracts in. Inventory full. You know what I'm saying? That'd be pretty spicy. Oh, yeet! Right. What are our contracts? Nearly 600. I need uh, iron ore. Shit, I'm going to die. We might have that all that at the other... <laughs> what? We might have all of that at the other outpost as well. Let's just check the inventory here. Uh, we've got 125 metal grids. I don't think we've got iron ore. We got cobalt. No. How many grids have we got here? We've got quite a lot actually. Oh, that's full. We've got like, I don't know, we've got like 375. We've got like 380 grids here, roughly. Um, that's that's pr that's a good way of the way there already. We need 22 hydrogen balls, which we can probably queue up. What do they cost to make? Silicon, nickel, and iron. Yeah, we can do that from the other base. And. And, and, and. Ah, we've got iron ore. Yeah. What was the other thing? Oh, that's it. Okay. So I'll tell you what we do. I know I've just unloaded the couriers, and you're going to kill me very slowly for this, but we're going to take the stuff for a refinery and an assembler over to we'll take it over to the uh, to the other base <laughs> and get them set up with the drill rig because there's no point can I pull them from here oh, I can we'll move the whole thing over here because there's no point um, getting that drill rig going and then using like we're gonna would have to use all of the stone that's already there to use this like we do have to use almost all the stone that we can mine from a drill rig just to make the refinery in the assembler right or a lot of it anyway that's not very efficient there we go can we reach the connector oh we can that Amazon Prime Door-to-door -door delivery here. Cannot withdraw some components. We need 300 steel plates, loads of steel plates, computers and motors. Well, we're not going to get the uh, the motors. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, 
But we should be we should have the computers. Didn't we just harvest like loads of computers? I swear that's all we do. It's probably in this one. There we go. What are we missing now? Not a whole lot. It's been a pretty uh pretty relaxed episode so far actually. Well nearly at the end, but it's been a pretty relaxed episode. It's been nice to have a break from all the shit that's been going on. Cannot withdraw motors, yeah. Welcome to the club, pal. Let's get this shut. Get that nicely protected. And then we just need the motors, which we could probably produce from the stuff we've got left over there. And then we can get that, uh, get that whole production thing going. So, yeah, let's go back to back to basics back to the outpost get a nice drill rig set up I mean we could do one here but it'd have to be like a bit of an awkward angle and I want there to be a reason for us to have the tower the little outpost thing over here so this will be this shall be the reason that we have it that it exists and that one over there needs looting as well that'll have that will in itself, probably has enough metal grids to fulfill the contract. Two mil. That's enough to buy a sapper, I think. I can't remember how much the sappers cost. Is it like 300k? 500k? Something like that, I think. It has been a, it has been a minute since I've looked at the price. God, that is dangerously close. And that is a meaty outpost as well. Like that's not that's not a small scale assault. It's got missile turrets. That's like a we're gonna have to plan it. I mean, I don't even know. We'd probably need a, like a large grid gunship, right, to take that take that outpost out. Like that is a seriously heavy outpost. Or maybe. <laughs> A missile strike sort of, no, I think a gunship with welders is the only option. Missiles could work, but we'd have to deploy quite a lot of them to get all of the turret emplacements. Oh, it's night time so we can see the uh, the pad lights come on. Let's see if they work. Let's dip down. Oh, yes. Beautiful. The most rewarding part of this game is seeing something you've worked on all come together and work. Um, let's shimmy over. Or not. Let's shimmy over. Shimmy back. Boom. Nice. So next episode we'll get the uh, the old... Get the old... Uh, refinery going. Rob oh. Oh. That is sad. Like, that is a sad sight to see. I mean, that is, like, depressing. Uh. Oh, on that bombshell. Um. Oh, I do miss him. I really do. Fuck! Why did I do that? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. And take care, everybody.